Hello. So we are back. You know what? Y you have no idea. Uh, you know, the, all the comments from my video make me laugh. And I'm laughing a lot, yeah? So I just uploaded that video with a, with a HP laptop with a weird fault, yeah? <laughs> like, okay, touching, the, touching something, the, the light is changing, uh, bending the board, the light is, yeah? Hitting the board, same happen. You know the video, I just uh, I just uploaded like two hours ago. And uh, I read all the comments, yeah? So be sure if you leave a comment, I will read it, yeah? I mean, there right now are like 86 comments, but no one actually figured it out. I mean, I love, you know, I, I love to upload something and ask the people opinion and yeah, I really love it. So uh, don't get mad with me. I'm not doing fun with you. We're just having fun together. Yeah. Okay. So actually no one spot the problem. I mean, I've seen a lot of, you know, comments that people, you know, like advice, like BIOS problem, Windows, startup, settings, uh, power management. <laughs> but from some reason, people misunderstood. This is a... Uh, you know, I mean, if I touch this, yeah, what was the pin here? And you can see the light is changing, but you can't see it, right? And you can see the light there, yeah? Yeah. So if I touch a pin and the light is changing, I don't have to touch the, the ground. You can see, so you can see the light changing. So I touch this and the light is changing and you believe actually it's a software problem. How you can believe something like that? I mean, this is a computer. This is digital. Yeah. The computers are working with zero or and one. Yeah. So can be zero or can be one. It cannot be on the middle. That's the thing. That's the people what they're missing. Cannot be in the middle. Can be only zero or one. So. This is a, the power button board. Has a LED there, actually two LEDs. And obviously, if you have a LED, you have a driver. Okay, on those days, the drivers are MOSFETs. Now, what you are seeing here, it's a typical, but you didn't play. No one played. No one played with MOSFETs. This is like a gate in the air. That's how it's called, a gate in the air. So actually, when you touch something, you can see when you touch the gate, it's actually changing the voltage on the LEDs. You can see? That's a gate in there. A gate, a not, not connected gate. Now, many people I've seen that say ribbon cable. Okay, but it's happening even if I do it here. Check here. You can see the light. It's changing. So it's not the ribbon cable. You understand? People say it's ribbon cable. So it's not the ribbon cable. Now, the, the right way to go, because electronic is like mathematics, yeah? There is no, there is no, it's nothing on the middle. It's about checking the voltage. That's the reason why I avoid checking the voltage on the, on the video. Uh, checking the voltage, uh, by the way, I'm going to tell you from now, this fault cannot be fixed. I, ca I can't fix it, yeah? This is, I know, looks easy, looks stupid easy, but you cannot fix it. And I can't fix it on a normal way. But we're going to fix this on this video. Of course, on a different way, but not like how it was original. You can't do it. I'm really sorry. We can do it in a dodgy way, in a sorry way, but not the factory way. So uh, why the gate? It's on the air. That's a good question. And I don't have the answer. Can be a broken track, can be a knockout component from the board. We, we have no idea. A faulty something, a faulty chip, I don't know. So uh, on the microscope, what do we have on this pin, which is, hopefully you can see the light. Maybe I can lower this light. One second. Yeah, just a little bit. And now you can see the light. So... Like touching this one, it's changing the light, you can see? That's a gate on the air. You can see that? 
Now, what voltage is here? What voltage is here? I will check with the ground from the motherboard. People said missing ground, yeah? Missing ground. I'll check with, I'm, I'm, I'm using the ground from the motherboard, yeah? So checking here, what voltage do we have? Zero. You can see. So what voltage do we have on the next spin? On the next spin, we have 3.3. .3. You can see on the screen. So here we have zero. Okay, so what means if it's zero? This should change if the power, uh, if, 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 you, if you power up the laptop, right? Okay, let's power up the laptop and check one more time. Okay, so the laptop is on. You can't see the fan spinning, but look at this LEDs, yeah? You can see picture. Okay, so checking the voltage exactly there, exactly there, yeah, on the same pin. Not this one, the next one. No, this is the next pin. And it's 0 0.003. You can see it? So uh, it's no voltage, even if the laptop is on or uh, off. Okay? Now, what is the solution? Or why that happened? Like how I said, I don't know why that happened. The solution is if you have a schematic and board view. Schematic, I don't know if that can be useful. Can be. Yeah, probably I can figure it out with schematic, but I don't have schematic. And board view to figure it out uh, where are the components. But the gate is on air. That's the issue here. Yeah, the gate of this MOSFET, because the driver is this one. You see this? Do you see this shape? This is the driver. And I believe. I checked earlier and the light was changing. I believe this one, yeah, this one. So if I switch the gate, that's the gate to plus, yeah, the light goes off. Okay. Uh, but that's not important. The important is if I touch here, you see the light is changing. That means a gate, a MOSFET gate in the air, in the air, yeah. And actually it's a channel P MOSFET because if I comb, let's say I'm touching here, yeah. So if I touch the ground, you can see the light. The light is, is is getting brighter. Yeah, I check there. Check the light. The light is getting brighter. You can see. Look. You can see. That's a gate in the air. That means that the truck is broken from here somewhere on the motherboard is supposed to go where to the io chip super io chip super io chip is faulty i don't think so because this led the power on led is good so this is working now what is interesting on this board you see this board with the led so you have a charging led power on led and the hard drive led has a chip here so very possible our signal to that to that uh, LED to comes from this chip, not necessary from the IO chip. It is important, it's not, because we cannot figure it out from where the signal is coming. So uh, we cannot fix this on any way. The only way to fix this is on a dodgy way. So what is the dodgy way to fix this fault? Well, what do we know? We know from the ground let me touch the ground one more time. So when I'm touching the ground, actually the LED is, uh, is brighter. That means it's a channel P MOSFET. Yeah. So what does it mean? We already checked and we have zero volts there. That means when it's zero volts, the LED is on. That means when I have higher voltage, let's say 3.3, the LED will be off. Okay. So we need to get a signal. And most likely you will get a signal from this LED, yeah? The power on LED. Let me power up the laptop. You see, the LED is on. We can get a signal from here. What voltage do we have on this LED? On this LED, on one side we have 2.6, and on the other side we have 0 volts. So uh, if 0 volts is LED on, 
that's fine. I have here, on this LED here, I have zero volts. So it's fine. Now let's shut down the laptop and check the voltage one more time. Okay, the laptop is off. Now the voltage here where it was zero is 3.3 now. So 3.3 now, if I come with 3.3 on the bottom, that means uh, the LED should switch off. Okay? So that's how we can solve our little uh, riddle. Yeah? So let me grab a wire. Let me grab a wire. There's no other right way to fix this wall. That uh, I'm trying to explain you. Yeah, that's fine. And again, it's hard to say why that happened. Okay, so let's grab the solder iron. We do have power on the board, so we should be careful. And solder the wire here. Yeah, remember here we have right now. 3.3 uh, volts, so we should be careful, yeah? Let me grab some raw seam. Good. Let's try it here then. I can see the light switch off. Yeah, that's fine. Just for testing, yeah, we are making everything nice after, yeah. Ready? Power on. And you can see the light there, you can see. So we have light, and uh, you can see it here, the light. Now let's wait for the windows and then shut it down. It's very bright here. That's one reason why you can't see it. You can see the light there? Maybe I can zoom more. Yeah, you can see the light. So the light is present. Okay, now let's switch it off. Shut down. Shut down. So pay attention. Pay attention on the light. And the light goes off. You can see. <laughs> it's fixed. Now let's power on. It's a silver button and has reflections. Yeah, power on. You can see the button comes on. That's the way how I choose to fix this fold. Okay. Now I will uh, root the wire nicely, somehow, and uh, yeah, that's the job. Nothing wrong can go here. Here we have three volts. If I short this wire to ground, it will, uh, what will happen? It will power on this LED. That's all what will happen, yeah? Let's say by, by mistake, let me shut down the laptop. Yeah, let me shut down the laptop. Okay, let's say something goes wrong. I don't know. Something goes wrong and the LED the wire, it will get shorter to ground, yeah? What will happen with this LED and this LED? Let's see. Uh, I will touch it exactly on the same place. Yeah. You see, yeah? That's what will happen. This LED, it will come on, and this LED, it will come on. Okay? <laughs> Can be a lot of ways to fix this. I mean, of course, same with wire. Also, I can get a wire and jump over the driver, yeah, 
of the LED driver and solder this wire straight to the LED and it still work. I'm just trying to give you an example. There are many ways to fix a fault. Not necessarily if you cannot figure it out. You know, the original fault doesn't mean that you should quit. Okay? So, I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Hopefully, you enjoy this uh, this uh, strange fold, which is actually just a MOSFET with a gate on the air. Yeah, a gate MOSFET cannot be on the air; it has to be connected to either plus or minus, or either one or zero. So, see you on the next one. Bye.